dear friends in this this is my tutorial in material studio so in this video i'm going to explain how to model mx in for uh, catalysis and also the single atom uh, supported mx in for the uh, catalytic applications so the, this is the important paper i'm go going to tell you in this paper they reported the uh, mx in with a different kind of uh, surface uh, oxygen positions so you can look this paper it's useful so this is the the structure of the MXN and uh, they marked the different position of the oxygen and also they studied that uh, formation energy uh, to check the stable O positions okay here I marked blue colored one is the stable position E equal to FCC so FCC means here this is the uh, stable position with the I surf um, formation energy okay this is the most stable structure so next slide i will show you the formation energy so this is the their calculated formation energy if you see the o a side is 3.05 so the formation energy is 9.6 if you compare with uh, this is for o, o based things so this is the more uh, stable one okay so people also will use this uh, o, this this material for the catalytic application so next i will tell you how to how to get uh, the structures and uh, and also make the single atom catalyst for uh, some other applications so uh, so i already i did some uh, calculations uh, earlier um, long, long time before i have some calculated structures so i will show you that so this is the i optimized the bulk structure ta3 c2o2 so just i want to optimize the bulk structure so this is the bulk structure so i optimized so the incor file i will show you so this is the incor file for the optimization i used so i here i uh, I did not use the IVDV for uh, these structures. If you use IVDV, the lattice parameters slightly will contract. We cannot get uh, exactly be with a experimental lattice parameter. So that's why I stopped to use this uh, IVDV for a bulk structure optimization. Here also see here I mentioned ISIF3 for full relaxation ion cell shape and volume. So you can also use this incur file uh, to study the MXN kind of uh, materials. So uh, so I already opened no? this. Uh, this is the thing. So I can open uh, this is the structure. So I will show you the so I will show you the lattice parameter go files and edit data and go to unit cell so you can find the lattice parameter so you can see here a 3.03 and also this is the same as experimental observed lattice parameter here also 3.03 okay mm, yeah this is the lattice parameter so if you want to check the C length also we can check so so basically if you click here and uh, click here the distance is 7 armstrong so basically experimentally observed uh, uh, c length is uh, 6.95 so we are getting the 7 this almost the same only but we need to worry <coughs> okay so that's all so just you can uh, save this as a c file So this is the C file. So we can open Material Studio. So we can, if you want, we can modify the name. D I three C two O two. C two O two. So. Can change the background image. So here, click bond. It will create bonds. So right click, display style. Yeah.
so this is the bulk structure of TI3C2O2 so if you want to different structures you, you, you can change this into this fluoride or if you want you can also make a sulfide, uh, selenide, telluride whatever you want you can change this uh, to oxygens and make it to different kind of structures so and also you can make it OH so if you want you can make also OH so make it ESC hydrogen just you can make it OH so you will get the OH based MX scenes okay so we don't want that we just remove so here I will show you the supercell construction so just uh, go in, go in display go to lattice you can see here so you can also 4 into 4 so if you want to make any single atom here you can make 4 into 4 or 6 into 6 so the 6 into 6 I think uh, good to study the catalytic uh, reactions so you can make it then go to build tool go to symmetry here supercell 6 into 6 create supercell the cell will create it so so here is the C length is, is very so if you want to change the C length you can change it uh, based on your requirement so you can go to crystal so let is parameter here 15 is there you can uh, put or 25 or 30 so later you can check the gap is record gap is there or not so we will check that so I think this is the efficient enough gap in between the two, uh, two layers yeah is 22 is that is I think is more than enough if you want you can also decrease that gap okay so go to lattice is reduce into one okay just to delete this yeah just edit it remove it let's start so so this is the TI3C2O2 so if you want to keep your single atom so you can keep uh, so different places that here so you move top side so so this site is a titanium top side so this is O top side so this is the uh, HCP site of this is a uh, carbon uh, below is that this is a different third site so this is three kind of sites if you want you can build your um, single atom so we can choose our uh, so let us go bolt you can select through the new so just you can keep here so that we make just you can arrange it so connect with the uh, yeah so so likewise you can make so this is the mm, titanium top side so this is ruthenium anchored on that so you can also make another side so moving this into the O side so this is so you can keep somewhere long distance so like this O top side and also this is a carbon hollow side this is So this is different kind of sites. Okay, 
so you can keep your single atom or cluster so whatever you want you can keep in the surface of the things you study your catalytic transformation i will share this uh, zip file you can utilize yourself if, thank you for watching if you like my content please like subscribe and comment and share and also click the bell icon to get my future update video updates thank you thank you for your uh, kind time and uh, thank you happy computing